नाउ इक्विवेलेंस ऑफ कैनोनिकल एंड ग्रांड कैनोनिकल एंसेम्बल सो इक्विवेलेंस ऑफ कैनोनिकल एंड ग्रांड कैनोनिकल एंसेम्बल लेट फॉर ए गिवन वैल्यू ऑफ जेड वी एंड टी दी पार्टीशन फंक्शन इन ग्रांड कैनोनिकल एंसेम्बल इज गिवन बाय आर इक्वल टू सिग्मा एन इक्वल टू जीरो टू इन्फिनेटिव जेड एस टू एन क्यू एंड वी टी हियर क्यू एंड वी टी इज द पार्टीशन फंक्शन ऑफ ए फिजिकल सिस्टम दिस जेड इज फिजिसिटी वी इज वॉल्यूम एंड टी इज टेम्परेचर फॉर सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी एज्यूम दैट वी आर यूजिंग अ सिस्टम हुज मॉलिक्यूल इंटरेक्ट थ्रू एन इंटरमोलिकुलर पोटेंशियल दैट कंटेन्स अ हार्ड स्पेयर रिपल्सन ऑफ फाइनेट डायमीटर प्लस अ फाइनेट पोटेंशियल ऑफ फाइनेट रेंज सो फॉर सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी एज्यूम दैट वी आर यूजिंग अ सिस्टम हुज मॉलिक्यूल इंटरेक्ट थ्रू एन इंटरमोलिकुलर पोटेंशियल दैट कंटेन ए हार्ड स्पेयर रिपल्सन ऑफ फाइनेट डायमीटर plus a finite potential of finite range and also whose helmholtz free energy is given by a equal to minus 1 upon beta log q and v this is equal to minus v by beta f of v also a small v equal to capital v by capital n and beta equal to 1 upon kt k is boltzmann's constant and this f of v is finite and temperature t is constant so f of v equal to 1 upon v integration v not to v dv dash beta p v dash here p v is the pressure of the canonical ensemble and f of v is such that del p by del v is less and equal to 0 and del 2 f of v by del 1 upon v whole square is less and equal to 0 so f of v is such that this is less and equal to 0 and this is also less and equal to 0 if for any arbitrary fixed number z phi which is the function of a small v and z is equal to f of v plus 1 upon v log z so the grand partition function is r equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity z is to n q and v t and this is equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity exponential v phi and here phi is the function of v by n and z because phi is the function of a small v and z and a small v is capital v by capital n so r equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity exponential capital v phi v by n z and therefore phi equal to 1 upon v log z plus 1 upon v integration v not to v dv dash beta p v dash since del to f of v upon del 1 upon v whole square is less than equal to 0 and therefore del to phi upon del 1 upon v whole square is less than equal to 0 because phi equal to f of v plus 1 upon v log z so if we differentiate this equation twice with respect to 1 upon v then this will be less and equal to 0 let x equal to 1 upon v so dx equal to minus 1 by v square dv so d phi by dx and dx is this one so if we replace this dx by this value then d phi by dx equal to d phi upon minus 1 by v square dv and this is equal to Minus v square d phi by d v. 
again we differentiate d5 by dx with respect to x so d2 phi by dx2 that is d by dx of d5 by dx and dx is this one and d5 by dx is this one so if we replace dx by minus 1 by v square dv and d5 by dx by minus v square d5 by dv then d2 phi by dx2 equal to d by minus 1 by v square dv minus v square d5 by dv now this negative and this negative will be cancelled out and this will go into the numerator so d2 phi by dx2 equal to v square d by dv of v square d phi by dv now if we differentiate this value with respect to v then this v square as it is and first time v square is constant and differential of d phi by dv with respect to dv will be d2 phi by dv2 and second time d phi by dv will be constant so it will be as it is and differential of v square with respect to v will be twice v and x is 1 upon v so d2 phi by d1 by v whole square equal to v square into v square d2 phi by dv2 plus 2v d5 by dv if we take v square common from here then d2 phi by d1 upon v whole square will be equal to v raised to 4 and in bracket d2 phi by dv2 plus 2 by v d5 by dv and since d2 phi by d1 upon v whole square is less than equal to 0 it means this will be less than equal to 0 or d2 phi by dv2 plus 2 by v d5 by dv is less than equal to 0 for a fixed volume v q and v vanished when n is greater than equal to n not v here what is n not v n not v is the maximum number of particles that can be accommodated in a volume v such that no two particles are separated by a distance less than the diameter of the hard sphere in the interparticle potential therefore r which is the function of z and v is equal to polynomial of degree and not v so grand partition function r is the polynomial of degree n not v and what is n not v n not v is the maximum number of particles that can be accommodated in the volume v for large volume n not v equal to a into v and here a is any constant if phi not z is the maximum value of phi and phi is the function of a small v and z that is it is the function of v by n and z so e raised to v phi equal to e raised to v phi naught is less than equal to r is less than equal to n naught v exponential v phi naught z so if we expand e raised to v phi in terms of phi naught and n naught then the value will be this one and this is less than equal to a v exponential v phi naught z because n naught v is a v so if we replace n naught v by a v then this will be less than equal to a v exponential v phi naught z now if we take the logarithmic of this equation then log of e raised to v phi naught z is less than equal to log r is less than equal to log of this one and log of a v exponential v phi naught is equal to log of a v plus log of exponential v phi naught z and it is written here now log of e raised to x equal to x so this will be equal to v phi naught z is less than equal to 
log r is less than equal to log a v plus v phi naught z. Now, if we divide this whole equation by v, then phi naught z is less than equal to 1 upon v log r is less than equal to phi naught z plus 1 upon v log a v which is written here. Therefore, limit v tends to infinity 1 upon v log r equal to phi naught z. Let it be equal to v bar phi is maximum. So, the differential of phi at v equal to v bar will be 0 because phi is maximum at v equal to v bar and since d to phi by dv2 plus 2 by v d phi by dv is less than equal to 0 and this is 0 so d to phi by dv2 will be less than equal to 0. So del to phi upon del v2 at v equal to v bar is less than equal to 0 which is clear from this equation. So we can determine the value of v bar from it. Since f of v equal to 1 upon v integration v naught to v dv dash beta pv dash and phi is this one by using these two equations we can write phi v bar z equal to 1 upon v bar integration v naught to v bar dv dash beta pv dash plus log z because this f of v can be replaced with this one and here 1 upon v is common and since v equal to v bar so phi in terms of v bar z will be this one and from here beta equal to 1 upon kt so if we cross multiply this equation then kt v bar phi v bar z equal to integration v naught to v bar dv dash p v dash plus kt log z and to find the value of integration v naught to v bar dv dash p v dash we transfer this kt log z from here to here so this will be equal to kt v bar phi minus kt log z now since kt phi is equal to p v bar so this is p v bar so integration v naught to v bar dv dash p v dash minus v bar p v bar is equal to minus kt log z now if we add and subtract v naught p v dash then integration v naught to v bar dv dash p v dash minus v bar minus v naught p v bar minus v naught p v bar equal to minus kt log z now here we plot a graph this is actually isothermal of a substance in the transition region of a first order phase transition actual our equation is this one and a geometrical representation of this equation is given here the value of v bar is that area a minus area b equal to minus kt log z so this is our area a and this is area b and area a minus area b equal to minus kt log z so the value of v bar is such that area a minus area b equal to minus kt log z the result of this figure is shown here so we remove this part from here and our resultant diagram will be this one this figure shows that for all v bar is greater than close packing volume there exists z or there is a value of z that is z naught for all 
v1 is less than equal to v bar is less than equal to v2 it means there is a value of z that is z naught for all v bar which is lying between v1 and v2 and if we remove v naught pv bar from here then actual result was this one so log z naught equal to beta v1 pv1 minus integration v naught to v1 dv dash beta pv dash here we end our session in today's session we have discussed about equivalence of canonical and grand canonical ensemble goodbye